Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you how to make a super small candle lantern that you can pack in almost any kit. Stay tuned. To make this project, you're going to need a few simple items. First of all, a jar of baby food, metal lid, a glass jar, that's very important. A pair of scissors, a length of copper wire, 12 or 14 gauge, it doesn't matter, about 18 inches long. You're going to want to have three of these tea candles and then a roll of this aluminized tape. The first thing that we're going to do is we need to open this jar and clean out the contents. And uh, if you get the right kind of stuff, it tastes pretty good. These are pears, so it's pretty flavorful. And uh, you can eat that and then make sure and wash out and clean out the jar and remove the label. You can use WD-40 to remove the adhesive if you wish. All right, now that we have our jar cleaned out and washed up really good and all the residue cleaned off really well so we can have a nice clear shine from the candle, next we want to make the handle. So we take our length of copper wire, find about the center of it, and then just using wire cutters, clip it in half, just like that. Now, you want to fold this in half again. And again, this is just kind of a rough estimate here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but pretty close to half. And when we get that done, we want to put a small loop in this side. You want to pinch it with the pliers. It doesn't have to be very big, just enough for the wire to fit through, something like that. And then we want to take and put a twist in it. So open the wire up like this and go around it just one time. One small twist. So something like that is what you're looking for. And you want to open this up really nice and wide so it can go around the jar just like this. The next thing we do is we fit it around the bottom lip. There's a nice lip at the bottom here under this glass right here. I'm going to put this around and come around this way. And we want to try to make sure that we're exactly opposite because we're making another loop on this side. So I'm going to take this and we're going to twist the wire this and you want to use the pliers to do this because you want to tighten it but you don't want to tighten it so much that it's going to crack the glass so this is what's going to keep it from moving around so just like that next we're going to take and we're going to fold this around like this and bend this into another small loop right here and we'll do the same thing with this side and then you want to crimp it in and all I did was just fold it back in on itself and that's going to be strong enough to hold it this isn't a lot of weight then we take the other half of the wire and we do the same thing we fold it approximately in half but this time we put a nice loop in it and the loop needs to be about the same diameter as the jar so you can fold it around the jar bend it around it if you wish and that works pretty well and then we're going to take the bottom here and we're going to fold these up and we're going to make hooks and you can make these however big you wish them but just make sure that they are the same length you want this to be as even as possible then you fit it down in through the little ears that we made like this and then crimp these in just like this so it forms a complete loop so it can't just fall out on you so just like that all right now this will go underneath and we don't want that so we're gonna take and we're gonna put a, a little bend right in here just like this and now bend that up just a little now it will nest. See how we did that? It will open, but when we close it, it will nest really nicely around the jar so it's not going to stick out the bottom and it makes it more compact for us to carry. It automatically centers itself. The next step is to take our aluminum tape here and we want to measure out an inch and a half this way. So we want to cut two pieces about an inch and a half long and try to make them as square as possible. And this is where our scissors come in. 
and we want two of them. We remove the adhesive backing like so and then opening this up and I like to put this to the back for carrying we want to go about in the center of our jar just like this and around and under and smooth it down and that's one and I do the same thing to the other side again trying to keep it fairly in the center like this so what we're doing is we're creating a reflector it goes basically halfway around and what that is good for is when you're walking and you're carrying this the light won't shine into your eyes from behind and also makes a good reflector when you're in camp next we have to prepare the tea candle now it will fit in there if you jam it in there but you'll never be able to get it out so what we need to do is remove the candle just like this from its aluminum housing it's still a little too big to fit in there so what we have to do is we have to abrade it on something like this concrete block just all the way around in a circle until we reduce the diameter so it'll fit in there properly alright periodically check it because you don't want to make this too small and when you're done it should fall down in there really easily and also be able to dump it right back out now one thing to note about these little jars there's a hump here in the center it's raised because this is concave on the bottom and so your candles not going to set real straight so in the one that I made for the video to test this theory out and to make sure that it would work right I went ahead and let one burn and then it melted down and it filled up the cavity in the bottom with wax and that leveled that out and it makes it a lot easier for my candle to burn and of course you only want to do one at a time you drop it in there like that and then you would light it using a match and uh, turn it sideways and light it of course just like you would any candle lantern packing it's really neat you go ahead and put your one in the bottom stack it in here you can put three and each one of these will burn anywhere from two to five hours depending on how thick your little candles are to begin with and I just took some paper matches and I put them in like this folded them over and then you can screw it on and now we have a very compact little candle lantern that we can take with us into the back country and there's our little tea light candle lantern. It's burning brightly and giving off its 32 watts of light. It's just a perfect size to pack into your haversack or small kit. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our training facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.